Yo yo, it's good YouTube, this is Angus. Nmap and then help. So basically, Nmap has a lot of options and types of scans. For this, it's like a stealthy type of scan. This is more like a general type of scan. This is more for um, like uh, ports uh, for this option. I'm not really sure what this IR option stands for, but in case like I forget something, you forget something, you could just go into help and search wherever uh, option you would need. Like for example, this uh, capital O option, which gives you the operating system that it works on. Uh, this is a ping scan. So disabling port scan, uh, list scan. So if you're scanning multiple targets and uh, IR is choosing random targets, basically. Uh, this is one I haven't used, but this choosing uh, like random targets uh, on a list. Uh, so let's uh, actually scan the IP that we got before. All right, I'm going to be explaining the command we're going to be using today. All right, so first of all, write nmap. And the syntax, is, if you want to check it, it's going to be on top over here. It's basically nmap and then the options and then uh, the IP. So nmap and then like the scan type. So any nmap and then any parameter and then at the end the target that you want to scan. Uh, we're not going to have like a really different scan type. We're going to use something called double verbose scan. So it gives us a lot of information on that target. We're also going to use the A. Uh, we're also going to use, I'm, I'm sorry, the O tag, which is uh, going to show us the operating system that the IP works on. Uh, one last uh, option which is going to be port 1 until port 65535 and bear in mind this is going to take a long time if you use this uh, one last parameter as well is uh, hyphen and then t4 which stands for advanced uh, mmap scanning and one last thing um, let's actually copy this command right and just before we actually run this command, we're just going to cd into home. Let's just add in the result on the desktop. cd tally, and then press tab. cd and then desktop, and then press tab. Clear that, and then just add in the command that you wrote yourself, all right? Start. And actually, there's one command that we forgot so again i'm just gonna do this again one last time i apologize so sudo i just to get into root we're just gonna have something we could save this uh, scan in that's why we actually uh, did that change of directory that's why i want to desktop on the terminal so cd home cd tally and then cd desktop so clear can make a directory like uh, nmap results cd into nmap results clear and then let's add in this command but just one last thing uh add in this uh, arrow type of thing uh and basically add in the file name that you want so let's call it nmap results you could add in also the ip if you don't want to forget that ip it's going to be in the scan anyways but uh, i'm talking about like basically if, there's, if you have a lot of like uh, nmap results like this uh, so that's pretty much it then you press enter and as you could see compared to the previous scan it's not going to show you uh, like the results over here it's going to show you actually the results over here. So that's why there is a new file created over here. So I'm not going to open that or actually let me show you, but it's going to be basically just scanning and scanning. So it's going to keep on updating and updating, updating because the scan to get out of this. You can just uh, uh, like put this notification over here and just click fast. Uh, so that is pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. This was Angu with you and peace.